Hi, my name is James Cunningham and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this short little video about the advanced strategies for long-term financial independence. And we're going to specifically talk about how we use the Family Bank to help our clients and help our doctors save nearly 100% of every dollar that they make. And as we go through and talk about the concepts of how to use the Family Bank, we're going to talk specifically about addressing financial independence. How do you really super accelerate your financial independence? Well, as a business owner, you have a cash cow that generates business. You, you make money. But that business also incurs overhead expenses that you take from your collections or from the business income and you pay those bills. Often, you're going to pay yourself an, a, a, a salary. In most cases, as you know, the business owner typically, if there's no money left over, they're the last ones to get paid. And really, the business owner should be the first one to get paid. But in the real world, for most business owners, they save very little of their business income. In our experience, maybe the typical average is right around 4%. And so as we talk about financial independence, let's come up with a definition of it. Let's say that financial independence is having a pool of money that's large enough to produce an income stream to pay for your wants, needs, and desires. Now, if you're like most people, you've set up savings accounts, you've set up IRAs, or if maybe you've set up and, and saved money in a 401k, even defined benefit plans, defined contribution plans, it doesn't matter what they are. Every one of them has a problem, and that is when you access that money to pull it out to pay for retirement or pay for bills or to pay for overhead expenses, you literally deplete that fund or that pollute that pool of money. According to AARP, most senior citizens have a fear, and that fear is outliving their money in retirement. And so we're going to show you how to have a perpetual income or have an infinite source of money using the family bank. Now, let's talk about the slow growth plan. Let's say that you have a business in 2012 that generated $250,000 in business collections or fee uh, service income or fee revenue, whatever you call it. You have bills to pay. So let's just say that it happened to be a quarter of a million dollars. Well, if this is the case, most of us would pay ourselves a small salary. And if you're lucky and you had anything left over, you would save it into your retirement. But again, most doctors, most business owners can't really do that. And let's just say in this example that out of the quarter of a million dollars, one of the expenses that you had was a 401k or a defined benefit or defined contribution plan. Let's say it happens to be $10,000. Now, again, that is a very small percentage of your total gross revenue that you had the ability to generate. If we look at this over a 10-year time period, let's say $10,000 per year that you're able to save, that's $100,000 over a 10-year time period. Let's say that we put this money into a growth rate or into an interest-bearing account earning 8%. Well, now this $100,000 through compounding and interest would be worth approximately $152,000, despite the fact that the business really generated millions of dollars. In fact, a business that generated a quarter of a million dollars per year for 10 years is $2.5 million that really filtered through the hands of the business owners, yet only a very small fraction, $152,000, ends up being the value of the future retirement savings of this business owner. That's approximately 6.1% of the gross revenue that the business brought in. But if we look at the family bank strategy, if we're able to save $250,000 per year for 10 years, which is 100% savings, put that same amount of money into the growth rate, um, earning 8%, that value would now be worth $3,811,375. Quarter of a million dollars per year for 10 years is $2.5 million that now we were able to capture 100% of that through the hands of the business owner and it has a potential savings percentage of 100%. Now we have a, a true future financial security of the business owner. And so again, this is a 100% 100% savings opportunity. If we look at this over a 30 year period, $10,000 per year for 30 years is $300,000. At the same growth rate of 8%, the future value will grow to be worth approximately $1,241,000. Despite the fact that the business generated millions of dollars again, over a 30-year period, $250,000 per year is seven or million, 
$500,000 net filtered through the hands of the business owner, but only $300,000 was able to be saved for the future financial security of that business owner. This is a total again of right around 4%. Now, how do we actually do this? We have a business that generates income and creates expenses. Step number one is we're going to determine what our quarterly overhead expenses are. We recommend that we do this every quarter. And when we do this, let's come up with a figure. Let's just say it happens to be $100,000 over this next quarter. Well, the family bank needs to be established. And we know that the family bank, we set this up with an insurance company where we can take out a loan without liquidating the interest bearing or the interest component of the life insurance policy. But we take the loan as a collateral against the face amount of insurance. Well, we're going to take in step number two, a loan from the family bank. This is going to be $100,000. Why is it the same amount? Well, because that's what we're estimating our expenses to be. The insurance company is going to mail a check out to us personally. When we receive that money, we're going to deposit that money into our personal checking account. Now, step number three says, when we receive the $100,000, we're going to create a loan agreement between us and the business. The reason that we do this is as the owner, you have two choices or two ways to fund your business. One is you can give what is called an owner's capital contribution to your business and you give the, the business money, you increase the net worth or the equity. But if the business fails or if the business um, has a lawsuit or something happens, that money has gone and you lost it. The second way to do this is rather than an owner's capital contribution to the business, we're going to loan the business the money. Now, in order for this to be a legitimate loan, we have to create a real document. We're going to charge that uh, the loan an interest rate. So let's say that we now create a loan for $100,000 and we charge the business 7%. When we do this, first of all, we are now a creditor. If the business fails or if the business needs to, you know, is sued or something, we now stand between the creditors or that followed us uh, because we're now going to be first in line and the business owes us the $107,000. The second thing that we do is rather than take an income where we have to with, withhold taxes and, and pay, um, you know, both a potential state and federal tax liability, when we are paid back a loan, we only have to pay taxes on the interest. So in this $100,000 loan, we only have to pay taxes uh, of $7,000 or whatever tax bracket we fall into, rather than pay the taxes on whatever the salary is. Now, in the example that I gave, if you had a salary of $24,000, you're going to pay more taxes than if the business owed you $107,000 in the form of a loan, because it's $24,000 salary or $7,000 of interest payments that we're going to, to be paid on. So obviously, you pay taxes on $7,000, not $100,000. And if you don't have these loan documents, that's okay. CFG or Cunningham Financial can help create these for you. We do it all the time for all of our clients. Now, once we have the loan agreement in place, we're going to deposit the money into our business account. So now the business has the, the money in the business operating account to pay for all these overhead expenses. Once the money is there, now what do we do with the income that the business will collect over the next three months? This is all the revenue that the business is generating. So obviously we want to collect 100% of that and we're going to send it to the insurance company or send it to our family bank to be able to fund that. So we're meeting all of our overhead expenses. They're being completely paid for, but we're also able to save nearly 100% of our funds. In one year, this business owner can save a quarter of a million dollars a year potentially into the family bank. If this process is continued for 10 years, obviously you can look at the difference. In the previous mode of savings, the business generated $250,000 a year, but the business, if he or she was lucky, was only able to save a small fraction of that. In our example, it was $10,000. And at an 8% rate of return, $10,000 per year for 10 years, that money grew to be worth $152,000. In the family bank strategy, however, the owner is now able to save $250,000 a year. If that also grows at the same interest rate in 10 years, the value of that business, the value of the, po the potential income stream is now worth $3,800,000.
$811,375. So if we look at the comparison here, the common current strategy that most business owners follow is if they have any profit or if they're lucky, they're able to save a very small percentage of that. Let's say the business generates a quarter of a million dollars and has expenses. The owner takes a salary if he or she's lucky, but they end up paying themselves last. And if you're a business owner, you know what that means. Let's say that you're able to save 10,000 of the quarter of a million dollars per year. That's it. And put it into an interest bearing account earning 8%. In 10 years, the value of that retirement would be $152,000. Over a 30 year period, it's approximately 1 million and a quarter. Now, in the family bank strategy, however, we don't have to make more money. We just use the same money that we're already collecting. We just learn how to uh, strategize our savings potential. We have the same expenses that we have to meet, the same obligations that we have. Maybe we take the same salary. Maybe we take less of a salary uh, and just pay ourselves the $24,000. And most of that is in loan uh, repayment. And so we only pay 7% of $24,000 rather than taxes on $24,000. Again, a very big difference. But instead of saving $10,000, we save everything that we can in this example. Now, if your business is making more or less than that, then obviously you would want to work with one of our business consultants to adjust that for you. But if we're able to save that in the same rate of return of 8%, the 10-year retirement value instead of 152,000 is more than $3,800,000. But now over a 30 year time period, look at the difference. It's $31 million. That's nearly a $30 million difference. If we're able to learn and utilize the family bank strategy, we didn't create any more money. We didn't, uh, we didn't use the money uh, illegally. We still met our obligations. We paid all of our overhead expenses. The only thing that we did is we learned how to leverage that account using the family bank. Now, to recap, step number one is we have to determine the quarterly overhead expenses. Step number two is we take a loan from the family bank, deposit that money into our personal account when we receive it. Step number three is we create a loan document between us and our company. Step four is we deposit the money into the business account because now we loan the, the business the money. And step number five is on a monthly basis, the gross collections or the gross revenue that we collect, we now send that into your own personal family bank. And of course, step number six is we now can enjoy 100% tax-free retirement income without worrying about losing our social security benefits to penalties and most importantly, we have a perpetual income for life. We can never run out of money. And if you have the family bank strategy, you already know how that works. Now we just want to take it to the next level and learn how you can save more or nearly 100% of your gross collections. Now, if you have any questions or you'd like more information, please visit us at our website or you can email me directly. Or here's our contact information if you want to give us a, a, a call on the phone. But nonetheless, I want you to watch this video as many times as you feel comfortable so that you understand exactly the, the power of the savings potential within your existing cash flow without trying to generate more and more income. And hopefully we can talk here in the near future. I look forward to helping you and your family develop a plan for true financial independence.